I killed my husband, too. He used to beat up on me all the time. But when he started in on the kids, that was more than I could take. I can't say I'm sorry he's dead. Well, it's different with me. I'm innocent. That's even tougher. But you'll adjust. I don't see how. I'm already going crazy in this place. <laughs> Look, Barbara, you can either let the system break you, or you can learn to work with it. Turn it to your advantage. I I'm learning to focus on positive things. Well, I don't know what I can find positive around here. Well, there's Visitor's Day, for one. You got your family? I have a son. Well, you see, it'll make you feel a lot less cut off once your boy's been to see you. Of course, it's a real adjustment for kids to see their mom surrounded by guards, talking on a phone through a glass partition. But after two years, my kids seem to take it in stride. I used to be real bitter at the beginning, you know. I mean, I guess that's natural. But now I've come to accept it. I realize I had no right to take a life. No matter whose it was. How long are you in for? Fifteen years. I've already served three. I'm in for ten. It seems like a long time now, but it'll pass. Important thing is just keep your nose clean. Just keep looking ahead till the day you finally walk out of here. I'm not sure I can do that. Sure you can. Think about your kid. I mean, that's what keeps me hanging on. Yeah, when I get out of here, my boy is going to be a grown man. Worst thing about this place is, is the boredom. I'm taking a correspondence course myself. I only got through eighth grade, but I'm, I'm getting my high school diploma. Taking a business course so I can be a secretary when I get out. I'm determined to make a life for me and my little ones. I heard that in the visiting room there are glass partitions and guards. Is that true? You'll see for yourself come the end of the week. What about phone calls? Yeah, sure. Each inmate is allowed so many calls a month. Shouldn't waste them. But if it's really important, Matron can arrange it. Thanks. Thanks. So for Christmas, my kid made me this ceramic ashtray in art class, you know. It was so pretty. But Matron wouldn't let me keep it. Why not? Because they were afraid I'd smash it and use a sharp piece as a weapon. That's terrible. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Free period. You girls can visit on the cell block now. I got a meeting with my counselor. And not a moment too soon. Nice to see you too, Lenore. Remember what I said about the rules, Barbara. Barbara. Take it from me, you're making a big mistake. Call your friend and tell him it's okay for your son to come up and see you. No, today. I don't want him to see me in here. Look. I felt the same way at first. But you've got to be realistic. You're in here for a long time. Do you want to cut your son out of your life the whole time you're here? I am not thinking about myself, Lenore. I am thinking about my son. He has enough terrible memories to live with. You know, I think you should see one of the shrinks. I mean, tell him how you feel. You're really down, and it's only going to get worse if you keep I don't need him. a psychiatrist to tell me how to deal with my son or to tell me how to adjust to living in this hellhole. I am paying my debt to society for a crime that I didn't commit, and I won't let a 16-year-old innocent boy pay, too. What about what he wants? How do you think he'll feel when he finds out you don't want to see him? Hi, Barbara. Hi. Denise. How you doing? Not so good. Expecting any visitors today? Yeah. You? Well, I'm expecting my two dearest friends in the world who happen to be my... Aunt and my business partner. And how come you're so down in the dumps? Because it's hard having people see me like this for the first time, I guess. But at least I'll be able to arrange for more money to be sent in. What for? Well, it seems that this place is more expensive than I realized. Barbara? If you're being shaken down, you go straight to the warden, you understand? Otherwise, the heart cases will bleed you dry. They'll keep upping the ante, and sooner or later, you won't be able to meet their demands, and then they're going to find a way...
way to take it out of your hide. Barbara, you asleep? I haven't slept in more than five minutes since I got here. I'm surprised as hard as you've been working. <laughs> well, physical labor doesn't tire the brain. My mind just keeps on churning. Yeah, it was that way for me, too, at first. But looking back, I realize it was just a waste of time not to let go and accept things as they are. You know, maybe if I were guilty. If you were guilty, you couldn't hope to get out so soon. You've got to believe that that guy who's so crazy about you will get you out of here. I just want that guy to forget about me. No, you don't. You can't mean that. And even if you do, it won't happen. Your son won't let him forget about you. Barbara, that's not a good idea. I saw you slip her a bill. It's a bad habit to start, because word will get out and everyone will be expecting it. Oh, come on, Lenore. What else am I going to do with my money now that the state is paying all my expenses? Free room and board, free glamorous wardrobe, free entertainment. I still say it's bad news. I have a lot of money, Lenore. If I can buy myself a few favors while I'm in here, then so be it. The other night, I was in the laundry room. A girl came in, started needling me. I could tell she was looking for a fight, and I wasn't about to give her one, but I knew that she'd find one somehow, and I was really scared. Thank God Denise showed up when she didn't stop it. How much did she charge you for that little service? Nothing. Though so she told the girl that I would pay her some cash, and I was happy to do it, believe me. It won't make them like you I don't more. care if they like me. I just want them to leave me alone. Actually, they'll resent you more for having the money to buy favors. What would you have me do? Carry around a knife like all of you do when you have to protect yourselves when you get into a tight spot? I don't. Then how'd you get the scars in the back of your arm? I didn't get those here. Well, maybe they thought you'd been through enough before you'd been here. And maybe I won't win a popularity contest, but I'll tell you something. I'm going to get out of this place in one piece. I don't want to be killed here. Because I have a lot to do. Important things to do, like finding out who really killed James. And I'll tell you something, I'm going to find out. I'm going to make them pay for everything that I've been through. Even if I have to come back here and spend the rest of my life. I wish I were a famous fashion designer like you. If I were, I'd be sitting here designing beautiful clothes instead of taking this high school correspondence course. Well, believe me, I have no desire to design any beautiful clothes. That's another part of my life that's over. Your mother and kids are here, Lenore. Someone for you, too. Aren't you coming? Oh, I, I can't, not yet. I came all the way to see you. I, I just can't see him, not... Not yet. Would you mind coming back for me a little while? Barbara, you still awake? Yep. I think I'm too excited to sleep, too. Just think, this time tomorrow you'll probably be back in Oakdale, sleeping in your own bed. You put these months in here behind you. I keep thinking about getting out in the real world again, trying to start a life. There's going to be so many adjustments. The kind of adjustments I'd welcome. But remember, you're not going to be alone in this. You have your son, and Hal will be with you from the moment you get released. That guy is so in love with you, he'll probably never leave your side again. Thanks for sitting up and talking to me. What are cellmates for? Oh, come on, Lenore. You're more than a cellmate. You've been a really good friend to me in here. I don't know how I would have survived these last months without you. You told me the truth, even when I didn't want to hear it. And I've come to learn that that's the mark of being a really good friend. Caring enough to tell someone the truth, even when they don't want to hear it, even when it, well, Regardless of the cost. I'll always be grateful for that. And I want us to stay in touch. Yeah, I'd like that too. 
And if you need it, or you want it, there'll be a job waiting for you at Simply Barber when you get out of here. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I don't think I'm exactly the type to model you. Oh, now, wait a minute. We'll find something that you like. Okay, we'll find bookkeeping or marketing. We'll find something. All right. Okay. Thank you. That really gives me something to look forward to. I want you to promise me something, too, okay? Sure. When you walk out of here tomorrow, forget about this place and everything it stands for. I want you to put every ounce of your energy into your future with Paul and Hal. Will you do that for me? Sure. With one exception. I'll forget about this place. But I'll never forget you. <laughs> I guess that's one exception I'll allow. <laughs> you gotta get some rest. You got a big day tomorrow. Oh, boy. <sighs> but what if the judge doesn't grant Jessica's request? This could take months. It could drag on forever. Come on, come on. Where's all that optimism you had last night? Oh. The warden let you off work detail today. That's gotta be a good omen, right? Ryan? The warden wants to see you. Why? Why? Is it good news? Is Hal here? Is Paul here? No, they're not. She wants to speak to you in private. Fingers crossed. 